Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Apple TV 4K and you have an issue where you uh, try to play a show on Netflix and you get audio and subtitles. However, you get no video. The screen is totally black or blank. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. Okay, so first thing is first. First thing is let's go ahead and try to uh, restart your um, Apple TV. Okay, so go ahead and grab your remote and then just go ahead and press on uh, menu. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the settings app right there. Just click on that. And then from here, what you want to do is you just want to scroll down and you want to go down to where it says system right there. Click on enter. And now we're going to go down here and click on restart. Now go ahead and let this restart after it's back up. Try to uh, play uh, Netflix and you guys are probably be up and running. The thing is a lot of times where you know, you may be up and running with the uh, Netflix now. However, when you shut your TV off and turn it back on, you have the same issue again, okay? So if that's the issue, we're going to go to the next step here. Okay, so this next step here, what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your Apple TV. And what I want you to do is, while it's powered on, you can see like a light that's on there. Go ahead and pull the power plug, okay? Let's go ahead and pull it. Ready? Let's unplug it just like this. Leave it like this for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let's go ahead and... Plug this back in, and then once it's booted back up, go ahead and open up Netflix, and hopefully you guys are up and running, no issues, okay? However, if you shut TV off and turn it back on, you still have an issue, then we're going to go to the next step here. All right, so for the next step here, what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your remote, and what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold two buttons, okay? Now you can see that my Apple TV, you see the light is on right there. What we're going to do is, what I want you to do is uh, press and hold the menu button, and the home button. Press and hold at the same time. Wait till the, uh, the white light starts flashing, then go ahead and let go, okay? We're basically uh, forcing the Apple TV to restart. Anyways, let's do it. Menu, home button, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Let's wait until we see a couple flashes on the uh, Apple TV. There it is, some flashes. Go ahead and let go. And now it's automatically rebooting, and hopefully, once it's booted back up, you guys are up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next step here. Okay, so if that previous step didn't work, the next thing I want you to guys do is, again, go ahead and grab your um, your uh, Apple TV remote. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to um, hold two buttons. Uh, it's going to be uh, different buttons, though, okay? This time it's going to be the, we're going to press and hold the menu button and the volume down button. We're going to press and hold these two buttons, hold it for about 10 seconds, then we're going to go ahead and let go. And what will happen is the TV will turn black and it will restart. Or sometimes what will happen is, It'll turn black, and then you'll get a screen that says, if you can see the Apple logo, to press OK, OK? So, so let's see what happens here, OK? So menu button, volume down. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons for about 10 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. Let's see what happens here. I get a black screen. OK, so sometimes you'll get this right here. If you can see the Apple logo, just go ahead and go up. And then click on OK. Sometimes you won't, you won't even see the Apple logo. It'll just turn black and then your screen will come right back on. OK, anyways, open up Netflix now and hopefully you guys are up and running. OK, if not, we're going to go to the next step. OK, so the next thing I want you guys to try to do is this. OK, sometimes it, there's a slight issue with your HDMI port. What I want you to do is go ahead and pull your uh, HDMI cable out and put it into another socket. And then once you uh, put your HDMI cable into a, a different HDMI port, then obviously you need to go back to your TV and you, go, you need to go to input and you need to go to the HDMI port where the Apple TV is connected to. After you do that, open up Netflix and hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step here. All right, so if you guys come this far and you're still having issues, well then I can honestly say the most likely culprit of your uh, issue is... You guys had, there's something wrong with your HDMI cable. The thing is like this one here would work with Netflix on on this TV here, the Apple TV. I mean, it wouldn't work. However, if I brought it home on my other TV with the same cable, it works. However, this one here, the Netflix wouldn't work. The, I had no video until I got rid of this uh, standard HDMI cable and I got a high speed HDMI cable. Okay, I'll put a link below where I got this one at. Anyways, if you come this far, the most likely culprit is, is a simple fix. Just get a high-speed HDMI cable. Now, if you don't have an HDMI, a high-speed HDMI cable or 
you do have a, H, a high speed HDMI cable and it's still doing the same thing with uh, a black screen when you're playing Netflix, then the last thing I have for you is just simply do a factory reset, okay? And you can just go ahead and press on menu here on the remote. And then you wanna go ahead and you wanna slide down to settings. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down to where it says system right there. And then you just wanna, oops. Then from here, you just wanna go down to where it says reset right there. And then you wanna go ahead and do a reset, okay? Don't forget if you do a reset, I'm gonna cancel this one. It's gonna be as if you just bought the Apple TV brand new. It'll do a factory reset back to factory default settings. Then you have to, you know, input your region, your country, the Wi-Fi, all of that. Okay. Anyways, guys, let me know uh, which step worked for you. All right.